Hello to all students. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss poisonous and venomous fishes. There are many species of fishes found in oceans and rivers which are usually poisonous and they can uh, kill any animal or even human beings. First of all, we are going to discuss different types of toxins, poisons present in different types of fishes. So, types of fish toxin can be divided into five major categories. Number one, ichthyotoxin. Ichthyo mean fishes, toxin mean poison. Any poison which is originating from fish is known as ichthyotoxin. This toxin can be present in the muscles, in the blood, in the visceral organs or in the form of poisonous glands. So any type of toxin present in a fish is known as ichthyotoxin. The second type of the toxin is ichthyosarcotoxin. Ichthyo mean fish, sarco mean muscles, toxin mean poison. Such type of poison is found in the flesh of fish. It means that this type of toxin is present in the muscles and when you try to eat this meat flesh of the fish, the poison is going to be enter in your body and unfortunately your body cannot digest the enzymes, uh, do, do not have the enzyme to digest those poison and these poison can harm your body and even kill you. Number three, ichthyohemotoxin, such type of toxins are found in the blood of fish. Number four, ichthyoecanthotoxin. This type of poisons are present in the spines, in the stings or in the teeth of the fish. Usually this type of toxin can be injected by the bite or stings of the fishes. These type of toxins are present in a sac-like structure which are known as venomous glands and these uh, uh, poisons can be transmitted to other animals with help of stings just like snake bite or a uh, scorpion bite. Number fifth is tetrodotoxin. These type of toxins are present in the visceral organs of specialized fish like puffer fish. If you look at this diagram, this is a puffer fish. The internal organs of this fish like liver, skin, stomach, intestine and other body organs may contain very powerful toxin and if a person or animal consume these organs, the toxin can be transmitted into their bodies and even can harm their bodies. So these are the different types of toxin present in different species of the fishes. Now what is the question is what is the difference between poisonous and venomous fishes? Poisonous fishes are those fishes which contain toxins inside the fish, in the, in the muscles, in the blood or in the visceral organs. Such type of toxin can only be transmitted to other animals or human beings while consuming the meat, blood or any other part of the fish by eating that part. So that is why these fishes are known as poisonous, while venomous fishes they have toxins or poisons in the specialized glands and these venoms, poisons, toxins can be transmitted through the bite with the help of teeth, spines, stings or barbules. And fish can transmit this poison into other animals or predators to protect themselves from the harms of the predators. Now we are going to discuss some examples of poisonous and some examples of venomous fishes. So if we look at the poisonous fishes, the number one is porcupine fishes. Porcupine fishes belong to family Diodontidae. These fishes can be recognized with long spines present on the body and two teeth are also present in the jaws. So this is the main characteristics with which you can identify this fish. So by eating this fish, you can get poison present in the body of this fish and this poison can be toxic for your body uh, or an, another animals. The second type of poisonous fish is box fishes. Box fishes belong to family Ostracheotidae. Their body 
contain head and body encased in a box like structure so some people if they don't know they can eat this fish the meat of this fish contain poison and it can harm their body the third type of poisonous fish is goat fish or red mullet it belongs to family mullidae and distinguishing character is two barbules hanging from the chin so there are two barbules structures which are hanging on the lower jaw just like a chin so you can identify this fish by these barbules by eating this fish by eating the flesh of this fish poisonous material can be uh, can you get into your body and you can get uh, harmful effects of that poison the last example is puffer fish puffer fish is usually normal when it when it is agitated or it becomes balloon like and many spines project outside their body it belongs to family tetra odontidae and it has four large teeth which are fused into an upper and lower plate with the help of which it can break different types of shells of the other animals in japan many people eat puffer fish but there are specialized uh, people who remove uh, internal organs like liver stomach intestine very carefully because visceral organs of this fish contain powerful poisonous material which can kill a human being or other animals venomous fishes on the other hand they inject their poison which is present in the venomous gland through help of specialized structure like teeth spines or uh, stings so these fishes are number one stingrays which which contain eight families and there are so many different species of this fish if you look at the diagram this fish has wing like apparatus on the sides and has a long tail which contain spines in the form of barbs like a dagger which contain poison so long tail with barbed spines and these fishes can inflict barbs into the other animals or human being and if a barb enter in the human being the toxin may cause heart attack and can kill a person and it is very painful the second example of venomous fish is catfish catfish contain barbels or cat whiskers around their mouth as we know that the mouth of the cat has hair like structures around its mouth they are known as whiskers so this catfish is also has 6 to 8 whiskers or barbs around their mouth so this is their distinguishing character and if somebody or animals touch their barbs this fish can inject poison through these barbules or spines and can kill another animal stone fish which belong to family sin and sigidae it looks like eroded rocks these are very very dangerous fishes which are present at the bottom of the oceans they are camouflaged as a bare rock as an eroded rock and you cannot you hardly distinguish as a fish while well, some animal some other fish or human being step on these fishes or encounter with this fish they can inject powerful poison inside the predator so they look like eroded rocks so be careful while walking in the ocean or in the ocean shore next example is butterfly cod which has a streamer like fin rays and needle like dorsal spines this is a very colorful fish just like a butterfly and it body contain very fine spines fins on the body which con- which are associated with venomous glands and by encountering this fish this fish can inflict poison venom inside the other animal or human being which can cause serious damage to the body that's all for today see you in the next lecture until then bye